Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So one of the biggest videos I have on YouTube is uh, how to make a polymer lace cane for beginners. And um, it's very simple. It's very easy. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to put the video, the original video um, around here in one of the cards in the corner. You'll see it come up. Uh, this is one of my most popular videos. I get, I probably get about three, four comments a day uh, on this video. Um, and it's a longer video. It's like 30 minutes um, because it was done three years over three years ago And you know, I'm a little bit a little bit better at making videos now. So let me get into doing it um, And then like I said go check out the other video if you have the time so all I have here is white Sculpey and um, It's called Sculpey 3 I don't know if you can see that it's just Sculpey 3 in white uh, you can get it at any craft store. They have it. They have other brands too. You can get Michaels has a really good comparable uh, polymer clay brand as well. I think it's called Craft Smart. Um, but whatever, you know, whatever brand, and it's always on sale. And then I have a piece of black polymer uh, clay. Now I conditioned both of them. And what that means is I uh, sat and I kneaded it and I held it. And sometimes I put it under my arm or I sit on it. And it's just to get it warm enough that you can you know, play with it, I guess, mold it, sculpt it, whatever. Um, so that's all you have to do. I have a pasta machine as well. And I've also, uh, done that where I've used my pasta machine to condition my clay, but honestly, you don't need it. And I have one of these and it has these markers on it, right? These like rubbery markers. And what they're for is you get this in the cake aisle, the cake decorating aisle. Um, and it's, I used a coupon. It's very cheap. And what it is, is for fondant, right? So I bought it with a coupon years ago um, and got 50% off and I got it. So I can, instead of putting a deck of cards to know how thick, you can use these two different, you get to their two different sizes. And then I use this and thrilled to death. I also have a uh, knife and this comes in a kit. Sculpey makes it and it has handles and different blades. However, if you're just starting out and you just want to buy two different colors, black and white or whatever colors you want, I can also you, I have used and you can also use your exacto knife um, or something like a paint palette knife. You just want to be able to butter knife whatever just to cut right. Just be careful because it's sharp. So what I did was I rolled this into a tube, right, a solid tube, and then I rolled this out flat. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this in there in the middle, and I'll take my whatever you're using to cut, and I'm going to cut it right like that <clears throat> and take that off. And then don't throw this away. This is like gold. Save it. <laughs> Put it in my little pile. Um, okay, so there I have this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll it towards me. So I'm going to take this to the end, practically the end, just a little quarter inch right there. Lift that up. See how I'm lifting it up? And I'm going to roll it because I want to encase the white in the black. And I'm rolling it. Let me see if I can show you. See how it rolls? I can still see I need a little more coverage there. So I'm going to push it a little bit with my hand right here where I know it's going to meet. And when I take it off, look at this. Can you see the line going right here? See that line? There you go. That's where you're going to cut because that's kind of good telling you where the end is, right? So I'm going to roll that off, cut that off, and I'm going to roll it like that. And I'm going to roll it very easy back and forth with the palm of my hand. No pressure. I just want it to connect. Okay. And you can see it's right here is the seam and you can go in with your thumb a little bit. You don't want to squish it though. Okay. Don't worry about this little pee peep hanging out. We're going to take care of that. So I'm going to put that seam end down again and I'm just going to roll it and roll it and roll it. So you would do that till you're happy with it. And I'm just rolling it on this, but let me give you a, a good idea. If you do, you want to do clay and maybe you don't have a uh, nonstick surface, maybe you don't have, I use ceramic clay things I get from Home Depot and Lowe's, you know, like in the kitchen flooring section, they have unglossed uh, ceramic tile. They're like 30 cents. I use those. Uh, I don't have it right here with me. This is from my Sizzix. Big shot. Okay, so if you need somewhere to work and you don't have any place, 
use this. This helps roll too. Like if I put this like this with the seam up and I put this on here and I'm just gonna give it a little pressure and roll it, that helps roll it too because you want it to be flat. So really you can use a lot of things. You can use uh, parchment paper, wax paper, whatever, just to cover your surface, it doesn't matter. Um, okay, so here we go. So, okay, so I'm gonna give it one more roll and then we're gonna move on. Okay, so all you do is, okay, you see we have this. So I'm gonna cut this in half and does it have to be perfect half? No, but I'm gonna slice it right down the middle. Now, my first suggestion is this. Can you see how when I cut it, it smushed a little bit, it changed to an oval shape? I don't really care about that too much right now, but um, you might if you're doing something, this probably will be a piece for jewelry that I'm making or for a mixed media canvas. So make sure before you cut it, if it's really warm where you're working or your hands are really warm, put it in the freezer for five minutes. Put it in a, a little baggie, on a paper plate, whatever. Put it in the freezer and it firms it up real nice so when you cut it, you don't get distortion, right? But I'm going with distortion because I don't have a freezer down here. So I have these two pieces and I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to roll this out. And I'm going to cut. try to keep the same pressure on the clay, okay, because I don't want it to... Um, I want it to get thinner, but I don't want it to necessarily uh, change its shape. So I'm just going to roll it. I know this looks really weird on here, so let me move back a little bit. There we go. And I roll up and down, up and down, and I'll show you. And I'm not going super thin today like I do in my other video, which you can, like I said, I'll put it up here um, just so you can see. Because if you're like me, I have to learn by watching. And it is a 30-minute video, um, but you might pick up things from here and there. Okay, so now you see, look how much thinner it is. And this is what it was. So I'm going to set this aside. Now I'm going to cut this again. Now remember, if this is too warm, go put it in the freezer for five minutes and bring it out and you'll be able to cut it. I'm just going to cut it and I'm just going to kind of push it a little more circle-wise. But I'm not going to worry about it because I like all the texture when I am done. I cut that in half. So let's work on this bad boy. We're going to do the same thing. We're just going to roll it. Now roll it in your hands. Roll it whatever way you want to do it. I'm just going to go off screen just for a minute. This is how I'm doing it. And I'm pushing a little harder because I want it thinner, right? But you remember how it was. So I'm rolling it and rolling it. And look at that. Look how we're getting thinner. And lay it here and make sure you roll and then push your hands out like just kind of pushing them out because you want this to be you know even that's all again i'm not gonna you can go really thin and i could sit here for hours and do clay with you guys because i love it but i know that uh that would probably blow the poop out of you all right so you can see i'm just kind of going like that and you can definitely see from these two how much thinner that one is right okay so now let's cut this in three. So I'm just going to spread it out a little bit more. And you can see I go like this. I roll and I pull very gently my hands out on top of there, right? And it just makes it look how much longer, right? Okay. All right. So look at that bad boy, right? Right? We're like this. And now we're like that. So we're going to put you over there. We're going to do this in, you know what? I want to do this in fours. So what I advise is put it in the freezer if you need it to be colder to help cut. But I'm not doing that today. I'm going to cut in half and then I'm going to put them next to each other and do basically half. You see, that's not really, you know how I measure just like that. Okay. Now go back. And if they're distorted a little bit, which is because the clay is warm, go ahead. Look, if you don't have patience or it's hard for you to get up and down, if you're in a wheelchair disabled, like I am, I know it's hard to run back and forth to the freezer and, and the, you know, this, that, the other. So I totally get it. So two suggestions is get an ice pack. You can get them at the dollar store, keep them in your freezer. And when you're working, bring it down here, uh, put it on your table where you're working in a Ziploc bag. So that cold, uh, comes through that bag and you can lay this on there, right? You just lay it, it gets cold in a few minutes and then you take it and you can work with it. Or just don't give a shit and do like I'm doing and just be thrilled that you're playing with clay and it's going to turn out beautiful anyway. And that's how I do it. <laughs> because look, let's face it, me go, right, getting up and down like that is, is ridiculous sometimes and today's not a very good day for me. So 
I'm going to rock with it, roll with it, and it's going to come out nice. Never put so much pressure on. The whole point of doing this is for you to have fun. And it's going to be beautiful anyway. Imagine the different colors, green and, and black or white and pink. I mean, you can just go crazy. Okay, so this is going to end up being a 30-minute video because I talk so much. All right, so anyway, I'm going to take these and I'm going to make one of those thinner, but I'm going to start stacking it together. Okay, now I'm going to do this one a little thinner. Just roll it out. Just like this. I'm only using one hand on this one because it's smaller. But look, if you want to use two hands, go ahead. If you want to take your big shot plastic and go like this, by all means, do it. Do whatever makes it easier and enjoyable for you. Don't let anybody tell you any different. So I'm going to make this where I can, it's going to be double this length, right? So I have a little bit further to go. Okay, and then I'm going to cut that in half. And see how little? Look at that, how cute. Look how cute. It's little. So I'm going to lay those there. I'm going to lay, let me see how much bigger this is. It's about the same. So I'm just going to roll this out like for two seconds. One, two, maybe three, maybe four, maybe five. All right. Just to thin it out just that little bit. And you can pull it a little bit just to stretch it out very lightly, but you could do it. Okay, so I'm going to lay that there. So you see, look at all the different sizes we're getting. Isn't that great? So we want to put them up at the end, put the little one in the middle. Maybe you want to do that one in the middle, that one there. And you want to... Just push it a little bit so they stick together because it'll stick together. It's wonderful. And then do one here. Do one on the other side. You're just kind of laying it in the crease. You see the crease right here? That's where I'm going to lay the next one. Okay. And this is also how you make a flower petal. You can really, here's uh, one more. I have to roll one more out, but see how big? And if I rolled that out, it would be a flower petal. So uh, then you could do that with different colors, cut it, and you have beautiful flowers. So I'm going to roll this out real quick, and then we're going to get to getting here. So I don't keep it forever. Forever, ever, forever. Okay. You get the point. So I can see here, like, oh, these are kind of small. I'm going to mix it. So I'm going to take that one off. See how easy it peels off? But look, now we'll put this back over here. Okay, and look, we got thingies hanging. It's all right. We have one more. Well, this is going to be a little too big. Well, let's do this. I'm using a little bit more pressure just to kind of... Okay. All right. You get my drift. So now I'm going to take my hands and I'm just going to kind of... Put it like that and kind of flatten it. You could put it this way and kind of flatten it on your surface. Now I have all this extra. So what you can do is I'm going to cut it and look how cool. Oh, see, I didn't have it tight. That's all right. Though. That's what you want. You don't want it tight yet, but I have like these, so I can really thin this out a lot real quick. And I'm just rolling it and rolling it. Okay, and then I'll just add this right here. See, nothing goes to waste. And I still have an end, which I'm just going to pinch and take off. Okay, <laughs> that's what she said. Anyway, listen, listen, that's no joking. Okay, so <laughs> this is how I do it. There's so many different things that you can do. You can put another color uh, between these, right, and all that, but that's not what I'm doing today. So now I have this. If you want, you can take a piece of your black, roll it out, and then you can drape it over here so it holds all these together. That's not what I'm doing today either. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to very lightly on this part of my hand, on both of them, because I'm pushing because I want them to adhere to each other. I don't want no air bubbles. Okay. And I'm going to 
make it a little longer because I'm gonna I'm pushing it. If you want to do it here, you can do this. Just roll it. Now when I lift it up, I can see it has, you know, it's kind of there. So I just kind of want to push it together and pull. Turn it, push, and pull it. And you see how it's getting longer? And it's stretching. Because we can go on and on from here. And I'm going to show you one more little trick. What you can do. All right, so now I'm just kind of getting all those together. And you can see how they're blending, right? So now, you just give it a pull. And that helps with the air bubbles. You don't want any air bubbles. Now I'm going to cut this in half. Look at that. Now I'm going to turn it like this. And put them together. Come on. And look, now we have two. So you see what I'm saying? Then we'll roll this together and you'll have more and more and more. So you will have, you can build as many as you want. But let me show you. And make sure you put it in the freezer before you cut it if it's warm because it won't cut as perfect. Now, again, you could put a black wrap, 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 blah, 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 blah. Got me? Did you understand that? <laughs> you can wrap black or white or whatever you want around it, red. It doesn't matter. So I'm going in for a cut. And I'm cutting like a quarter inch. It's not a big deal. Look at this. Look at how delicious. Come on. Are you are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Look how cute. And I did this in 15 minutes. And if I would have quit talking and just played, look how easy. Two colors. Two colors. Bam. So now that you see that, I'm going to roll this out again. And I'm going to show you one more little trick that you can do to get, get it more. And then... I mean, how fun. So I'm just rolling, 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 rolling. Giddy up. Get out. I only know the Blues Brothers. <laughs> I only know the Blues Brothers one. I'm not sure I've heard. Now I can see there's an air bubble here. Can you see this, how it's doing that? So that's not going to do me no good. So I'm just going to cut that. And what you'll see is, and you don't get rid of this because this is good fillers. Look at that. Look at that. So that's still good. We can slice it up, bake it, and use it in your uh, mixed media, in your art journal, in clay. Uh, so many good things. So we'll just leave that there because we'll play with that again. And then I'm going to do this one again. I'm going to roll it. I'm using my hands just to be a little bit quicker for you guys. Okay. Let me see. And just roll it. It is better to do it on a surface rather than your hands because you can feel it and control it better. And this is moving on. Like I said, this is moving on to the smaller. Look at that. So you see that? We got these. Now watch. Let's cut that in half. And then look. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look. Now you want to roll colors and put between there? You sure can. You sure can. And I still have this to roll and put there. And then I'll do one slice off it so you can see it. It's so, it's so much fun. This, I know. And I have RA fibro. You know that. I have osteoarthritis. I have problems with my hands. Sculpey 3 makes souffle, which is absolutely delicious. Um, as well as Sculpey 3. I, I, that's what I use. I love Fimo and Primo and all them as well. But um, for my hands... That's the best, but I use them all. I use them all. So look, so now I'm just going to put that in there in that side and then over here. Okay. And you kind of just squeeze it to what you want it to be. Look how cute. And I'll just give it a roll in my palms real quick, just to kind of hold it together. Again, I'm not going to waste your time watching me, you know, roll for perfection. Cause that's not what I'm about. Look at that. Now watch. Make sure you put it in the freezer. Look at this. Are you freaking kidding me? Look at that. And look. So you could get a lot from here. A lot. And like I said, I can, I can still roll this one and put it on there. I can also cut this again. I can cut this again and lay it. Let's do it. What the hell? Ready? I'm going to cut it in half. And then look. And see that little, that's a good thing to show you. See that little hole? I don't know. Let's see. 
Yeah, you could see it. That means that, um, not that there's a bug in there. <laughs> it means you didn't push your stuff. You know, you just want to push it a little bit more to close that hole so there's no air. And that happens. It happens to all of us. So you just kind of roll it with a little bit of pressure. So you have it. And, yep, see right there? Roll it just so it closes that up. Okay. And then we can put them together. And then look what you get. Think about doing these and doing butterfly wings, right? On your mixed media uh, canvases or art journal. How much fun. All right. I'm going to do that and then give you a, I'm going to um, cut it, do a slice. Just want it to mush together. All right. Now I'm going to do a slice. Look at that. So it's even smaller. And then you can shape it if you want it in a heart, in the oval, whatever you want. So these are the ones that we get. And I don't know which ones I like better. But that is your polymer lace, polymer clay lace cane. How much fun and how much variety, how many varieties you can get out of here. And I can even go smaller if I wanted to by, you know, just kind of working with this. I have these pieces left here. So if I cut these off, I never stop because I get so much excitement from doing these. But look, you have these little ones now that you can add here, right? And you just keep building and building and it's so much fun. And these can be used in jewelry, in your mixed media, in your on your art journal, on your canvas. Uh, just so many things. So if you guys enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Please share me around like I'm your private uh, little friend. Um, so other people can see this as well. I love when you guys share. I love sharing for you guys. And any questions at all, you guys know where to get me. All my information is in the description box down below. And if you're new, new to me and you would like to be, please subscribe. That is down below as well. And um, I just love that. I love that. So that's it. Well, let me know what you guys think. I love you guys so very much. And I hope you all have a fantastic day. As always, please be kind to each other because you never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I love you guys. Bye.